guys back here with another video. I'm going to show you how to set up a ring gap on a small block Chevy. What we have here for our engine is a 60 over 350 small block Chevy. So this is going to be all across the board as far as any engine goes setting up your, your end gap on your rings. Um, so what you do first off is um, you take your ring you want to set it down into the cylinder. Uh, I have it roughly about an inch, maybe a little bit more, where the piston in the ring is actually going to ride. So once you have that done uh, and it's in there straight, you want to go ahead and take a feeler gauge and you want to check your, your end gap there. So um, with what we're going to do, a boosted application, we're going to have to gap these. These are right around 16 thousandths. Uh, and we want to go right around 28 with this so I'll sh set one up here in the ring filer and we'll file one and we'll show you what it takes all right I have my piston ring here and I'm going to go ahead and set it up in the ring filer so what I like to do is you have one hand on here and you want to keep this secured and up against the actual file and I will count my revolutions as I go around uh, when you're doing eight of these or how many ever you're going to do, uh, it just gives you an idea on um, about the same amount of turns for every one. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll do this and we'll count our revolutions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then what I'll do after that is I'll grab a piece of sandpaper. and then I will deburr this. You don't want any burrs, you don't want anything scratching up the cylinder here. Uh, this is just a 320 grit sandpaper. Just clean the edges up and then we'll test it and see what we got. Wipe it off, that way there's no material or metal or shavings and put it back in your cylinder. Alright so here I have both uh, the top ring which is here this is a molly ring and my second ring which is not a molly ring. Um, the molly ring I want to let you know is a softer alloy so the material will come off quite a bit faster than what the second ring will. So um, rule of thumb is you can always take more off, you can't put it back on. So um, when you're filing rings, you want to make sure that you don't go too far. So with my, for example, my Molly ring, uh, it took 10 revolutions on the ring filer before I received my gap of 28 thousandths. Um, on my second ring, it's about 35 turns. So. Uh, I like to do that, that way I'm not guessing on, on every one, uh, it's this exact same amount of uh, material being pulled off every time. So here's my second ring, I'll go ahead and put it in the ring filer. Um, I only take off one side, that's all you need to do, you don't need to take off both sides. So we'll go ahead and set this up. Make sure it's tight in there. And that's it. I'll clean these burrs off because you will get a little bit of a burr uh, that will scratch the cylinder wall which is no good. You want to make sure to, to clean that up a little bit and like I said I use a uh, 320 grit sandpaper and just go over it real fine and that will clean it up. Put it in the cylinder and test it. There you have it. Uh, that's how you file fit rings for a boosted application. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll catch you guys on the next one.